What's going on guys, Ryan here, and today we're gonna to be doing the big, 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 big project on redoing some of the plumbing. Now, if you haven't seen or you're new here, basically, I'm gonna to have to redo the whole main line of the plumbing in my house because the toilets, which you know are a three inch pipe in the plumbing, uh, are at the very end of the system going into the septic tank. The rest of the pipe is two inches, that is diameter, and they, there that pipe is not big enough because at the end, the other end of the house, I'm gonna put a new toilet, a, a bathroom, a new toilet, sink, and a shower, and the pipe that comes out of that bathroom going into the septic needs to be three inches, and because it's not, I have to replace the whole main line. Now it's kind of quite a bit of work but I think it's a lot easier to do that to replace what's already there than to start fresh because for me all I need to do is copy all the the fittings and the placement and I'm going to try to get it done today this today is Tuesday this is my last day this week that I have off as in I'm not working so I have all day to do this the only other issue is I may or may not have gotten enough fittings to replace the line for my washer. Luckily though, Ellie and I did some laundry a couple days ago, so it, everything sh should be fine. But if I don't get it done today, I won't have time tomorrow since I work in the morning and I get, home. actually, since I work in the evening, so I'll get home really late, but in the morning I'm busy doing other things and I will not have time um, to finish it until Saturday. So I'm hoping to get it done today to the point where we can at least use the toilet, the sinks, um, and the dishwasher because that's like the biggest thing. Now, other than that, uh, I will take this down there, I believe, and just kind of set it up. Uh, maybe I'll actually, yeah, I'll use this as a time lapse. Um, Either that or I'll just record bits and pieces. I've had to work the last few days, so I didn't have a lot of time to do this. But um, I'm gonna. The time lapse didn't really show as much as I wanted it to. The light was kind of in the way. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I did and why I did it. And then um, I gotta fix one thing that I couldn't do because I didn't have the right fitting. So let's get underneath the house and uh, let me show you. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is this. I redid everything here. If you can remember, there was another branch off here with the other toilet. I got that removed and replaced with this. I glued everything together. Um, obviously, there are some places where the PVC meets the ABS and you're not supposed to combine them too. Combine the two, so I have this rubber adapter. And that's what I use to... You might be able to see that one. That is a kitchen sink. But the only thing I didn't do yet is I actually didn't attach the washer, which is way down there. I didn't have enough time, and this was like the more important section. And that is the, the shower. And this part right here, that is a 2-inch to a 3-inch uh, adapter. I knew it wasn't three inches, but I thought it was a two inch to two inch. So this adapter was originally down here, but I couldn't 
connect it because it's actually one and a half at the top. So uh, yesterday morning, I grabbed this from Home Depot. It's a two inch to one and a half. And I'm going to try to replace that. And that vent is kind of crooked just because uh, I didn't line it up 100% correctly. It does kind of look like it tilts more this way. But uh, everything should be fine. I even glued the vent pipe in, so everything should be fine there. But I do need to fix this issue here. The, this, the shower doesn't leak, but it's all open, so the sewer gases can come up, and I don't, you know, we haven't smelled anything yet. Plus, we just got our septic tank pumped, so that helps a lot. But, um, yeah, I still haven't gone all the way down, like I said. So I'll have to do that uh, this next week um, because we need to do laundry. Uh, yeah, so it actually just stops right at that bracket. It's kind of hard to see right there, that bracket. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end the video. Uh, I'm not going to show you this process. It, it's really simple. You just take it out and then you uh, loosen these and then put it on and then tighten them. It's fairly simple, so uh, that'll be it. Plus, I don't want to get out of this hole and do some more recording. I actually have to fix this and then edit this video for today. So, sorry for the late video, guys. But that'll be it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to smack the like button as hard as you can. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me a lot and turn on post notifications. And pretty soon, we're going to be uh, doing some other projects here other than just the plumbing. So, we'll see about that. Uh, I'll see you guys all next time. Brrr.